The mayor of Los Angeles has delivered a bleak warning to his city. Concerts and sports events may be put on hold until next year to help stop a second wave of the virus. Even so, officials in California believe the curve is flattening in their state and they're crediting an early mandatory lockdown. Kim Brunhuber has that story. If you live in San Francisco and come down with COVID-19, this is where you might end up. A mobile isolated care unit set up in a hospital parking lot. We have multiple gurneys prepared for a surge of patients. For weeks, many California hospitals have been preparing for an influx of coronavirus patients, the dreaded surge. But look around. It's um, eerily quiet um, in, in our emergency room and in the hospital. Most of us would have expected that the surge would already be here, and it hasn't yet come. Instead, the rate of hospitalizations has stabilized, says this doctor who helps run a chain of 36 California hospitals. And they've all seen leveling off of the number of cases coming in. California was first to implement a statewide mandatory stay-at-home order, and several California cities issued their own orders even earlier than the state. Now, just look at one of LA's busiest freeways, empty at rush hour. And the order has been strictly enforced even at most beaches, which some other states have been loath to shut down. So the data is telling us that they are working and they are effective in reducing the number of mortality and in reducing the demand on our hospitals as well. No one here in California is declaring victory. Case numbers are still rising and a surge is still expected. But flattening the curve has bought the state a resource more valuable than masks or ventilators. Time. So that when the surge actually does come, we are much better prepared than we would have been otherwise. Because if you wait until beds start filling up, experts say it's already too late. Kim Brunhuber, CBC News, Los Angeles.